Just took a big old sip of coffee. My lips are still smacking my lips. <laughs> good morning, good morning. Merry week after Christmas. It is an honor and a privilege to be with you for Pray for America. 14 minutes of prayer for America, for our president, for the election, based in 2 Chronicles 7.14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven forgive their sin and heal their land. God is eager to be restored to people. He's, he is yearning for people to repent because he is forgiving. He is drawn to the humble. And that's why 2 Chronicles 7.14 provides a wonderful prerequisite for us coming to him if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. And last week, as I was humbling myself, God dropped this song in on me. And uh, I wrote it down and I'm still working on it. It's a work in progress, but why not bring you along the process of writing the song? Because it's a song that really sets the, the tone for worship and where we want to go as we humble ourselves and pray for America. Because really, our prayers to him are prayers acknowledging that he is Lord. He is our God. And we are his sheeple. We're his sheep, his people, the sheep of his pasture. I love the book of John, chapters 10, 11, 12, right in there where it talks about uh, him being the great shepherd. He's so tender, so merciful, and so kind, and so quick to forgive. And this, this is a song, I think it's going to wind up being called Served by Love. Hi, Karen. I have to interrupt and say, wow, those caramels are outstanding. Oh my goodness. When I think of all my sin, you carried on the cross. I don't deserve took all my filthy rights and paid the greatest cost. I have been served by love. For your love reached down and found me as I wallowed in my shame. And you rise Set my feet upon a rock. I don't deserve your love. You forgave my wicked ways and taught me how to walk. I have been served by love. For your love. for you as I wallowed in my shame and you wrapped your love around me and have given me your name may I love May 
Lord, we just gather together this morning knowing that we have been served so well by your love, served so well by your kindness, by your grace, by your mercy, by your forgiveness, by your hope, by your patience. Oh, my goodness, we could go on and on. Good morning, Beth. What an awesome awesome disposition God has toward his people. And I'm so excited that this morning we join our prayers with millions of prayers that have ascended to the throne for our nation in this critical, critical juncture that we find ourselves in here in America. And you know what just came to mind is probably it's the abdication of the church praying and interceding and just going along. You know, when, when the road isn't bumpy, you tend to just ride along. And we haven't, perhaps, as a church, been doing our part. But that's neither here nor there because we don't live in the past, right? We, we, we want to learn from the past but we don't live in the past. The Lord is not in the business of condemning his children. No, he's in the business of lifting his children. And that's what he does. And that's what he's doing. And that's what he's done. And so let us learn to live lives of prayer. And I, hey, I am, I am the first one in line to say I am guilty. I have uh, abdicated my own responsibility to pray over our president, to pray over our election to fight for truth, to fight against injustice. And so, yeah, here we are. So, Lord, we, we come to you, Father, with repentant hearts, as it says in Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, heal from heaven, heal the land, forgive their sin. Yes! So we repent of our sin, God, of being silent, while millions of babies have been slaughtered through the heinous crime of abortion. It is a sin. It is, it's actually not a crime. It's heinous in that it's not a crime. That's, that's heinous in and of itself. Forgive our government, Father. Forgive the church for allowing, for not raising our voices in unison to decry this injustice upon little bitty babies, preborn babies. Good morning. Jerry Jebo, good morning, my dear friend, my precious brother in Christ. It's good to see all of you. I'm sorry for, for interrupting the prayer, but I see faces pop up and I want to I want to recognize you that are on here. I appreciate you all. Well, Lord, we, we, we ask for revival. We ask for ourselves, Father, that we would be revived, that we would become the uh, conscientious Christian citizens that we 
are called to be. And Father, uh, you're, you've not called me to become a politician, so I'm not going to become a politician. You've called us to be who we are. And some of us are called to be uh, the best moms in the, in the world that we can be, that we're called to be. And Father, help us to be faithful to your calling on our lives. Uh, we don't, we don't want to be um, anything other than that. So you speak to us. You give us callings. You give us inklings in our hearts as to what you want us to do. And you don't want me or anybody else slathering on guilt uh, on your people, but help us to be faithful to what you've called us to do. That's, that's all you ask of us, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for that. Lord, we lift up our president, President Donald J. Trump, our president that we love. We don't worship him. He's our leader. We love our leader. There's nothing in the world wrong with that. We should cherish and love uh, a, a man who has worked so hard for us and is still working hard for us. We don't idolize him but we do love him. And we pray, Father, for his protection, for, for Vice President Mike Pence's protection, for their spouse's protection. Lord, we pray your anointing and your protection over all of our nation's leaders. Some we agree with, some we disagree with. Still, we pray that you would protect them. Lord, lift up godly leaders in our, in our country, Father, and tear down ungodly uh Tear down those who have committed crimes, Father. Lord, if they if they deserve not to be in office, then pull them from office, Father. Anybody who has willfully perpetrated evil and crime in America need to be apprehended. And we pray, Father God, that you would give us mercy and justice. Lord, we cry out. For you to be you and show up strong in America and um, do what you do. Lord, as we read the pages of Scripture, there have always been David and Goliath moments. Uh, and some of the best reading in all the world are those dramatic cliffhangers of which we are in the middle of one right now. And we are anticipating a rescue from heaven of biblical proportions. But I reiterate to all who might be listening from various positions that all of us on this show, and hit the like button if you agree, we only want true truth. We are not looking for anything beyond the actual, authentic vote of the people. If, if you agree with that, hit those loves and the likes because we want people to know we're not looking to steal the election. We're not doing that. We're simply looking for the actual count. We're simply looking for all who actually voted to be counted and those who did not vote to be removed. And that's all we want. That's all President Trump wants. And so, Father, we, we cry, we appeal to heaven, Father. Dutch Sheets has that beautiful flag that George Washington himself flew over the ships. Appeal to heaven. He cried out to the nation, appeal to heaven. We need God's assistance. And in this day, we relaunch, Father, and many have already launched and created those appeal to heaven flags. And we are, Father, as the church, activated now, crying out, appealing to heaven. Lord, your will be done. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. Father, we pray that if it is rightful that President Trump won the election, if it is true that he should serve four more years, dear God, would you do a miracle and let him be president for four more years? And Karen, you're saying, doesn't seem like too much to ask, right? Yeah. We're only looking for what's what's rightful and truthful. And, and I thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for that, Lord. 
We thank you for that, Lord. Let this election reflect what actually is rightful and true and legal and lawful. And that's all we ask, Lord. And we thank you for that. Thank you for that. And now lastly, Father, we turn to those are in, who are in need, our friends. And I want to add my friend Mike to the list this morning and his wife, Cindy. Lord, would you heal them, I pray, in Jesus' name. Totally restore them to perfect health, I pray, in Jesus' name. And as well, my friend Joel, Andy, Diane. Hi, Diane. Good to see you on the show. Uh, the other Karen, we've got Karen Sue Bailey Vance and my other friend on the show, Karen Richmond. No, no, Diane Richmond. Uh-oh, suddenly Karen's last name dropped out of my head. Guys, help me out with that. That's terrible. I can't believe that. High school buddies. Well, Lord, thank you that you are healing, a healing, a healing God. And so we, we come to you right now, Father, with these physical needs. My sister Janice, I add as well. Karen Miller, of course. Lord, thank you for good reports. Thank you for those who are still struggling. Dear God, would you heal all of these illnesses in Jesus' name? Let your power go forth now in the name of Jesus and heal all of our friends. And Jerry, I'm not sure how you're doing too, brother, but I pray for you, Jerry G. Bo. Lord, heal him too, Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Beth, you played the uh, video last night. I, I had the privilege of making a Santa Trump gram for Beth and her family, her extended, extended, extended family, <laughs> who were all together celebrating last night. And uh, I, hope, I hope the video was, was uh, enjoyable and that it wasn't too long and that it uh, everybody had a good time with it. I'm seeing a lot of hearts. I guess those are coming from you. That's that's awesome. It was really fun. Diane Friend, yes. Diane Friend Richmond, good point, good point. A friend always, very much, very true. Oh, I'm glad y'all had fun, Beth. That's, that's great. Now, I, it's public on on uh, my YouTube channel and it's already got 40 views. So if you want me to put it back to uh, private, um, I can do that, but uh, I think people are enjoying it. So if you guys wanna see the Santa Trump gram that I did for Beth's family, um, go to my YouTube channel and check it out. Uh, I'll put a link to that video, if with your permission, Beth, uh, in, in the, uh, in the chat after the show's over i'll go grab the link and i'll put it in the uh, bottom of the chat window all right so y'all can go back and check that out sent to trump gram now sent sent to trump grams are over because christmas is is gone but you can get a trump gram you can have president trump at your next event via a Trump Graham video. Of course, I'm always will, willing to come live or do a live presentation via a Zoom call. So go to trumpgrams.com and uh, pick pick up a Trump Graham. It's so fun. Um, or if you want to uh, simply make a donation, you could actually do that through Trump Grams. I have no other way really set up. Uh, if you wanted to make a donation to uh, this ministry because um, we want to keep it going and uh, and um, I'm supported through uh, the outreach of friends and but I'd rather I'd rather earn it by your purchasing a wonderful Trump gram or you can always uh, you can still get a uh, a Bush gram <laughs> or if in the district descriptor on either trumpgrams.com or bushgrams.com 
you could say, do the transformation, then I start off as President Trump and morph in to George W. Bush. So it's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're all done for today. I appreciate you guys. I have the Beth Golfgatch uh, seal of approval on the Trump gram that I did for them. Go check it out on my YouTube page, uh, my YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, help me out there too, if you will. Uh, appreciate you guys. Have the best day ever. And we will see you at the end of the day on the John Morgan Show. Humor, passion, and perspective for your whacked out, wild, and woolly day. <laughs> God bless everybody. Don't forget to share the show. Take care. God bless America. <laughs>